With family planning, women and couples can choose the timing and spacing of each pregnancy. It also ensures that couples can have the number of children they want and can care for. This can reduce the economic burden on poor families and at the same time, women have more time to work outside the home and meet the needs of their families. Together, these lead to increased family income. And with more income, families can invest in health, food and education for each child. Families can also invest in their own livelihoods and break the cycle of poverty. At the same time, at the national level, family planning can lead to more manageable population growth. With a slower growth rate, the government can better provide social services such as education and health care, can invest in economic infrastructure and job growth, and can sustainably manage natural resources for future development. The population of workers can also increase relative to the number of children. The result is increased economic productivity and growth for the entire nation. So family planning leads to poverty reduction and economic growth both at the family level and at the national level.